worldwide condemnation of Tehran's secret enrichment activities, its human rights abuses, and post-election crackdown have unified the international community to intensify the pressure on Iran's leaders. We must now not let up. And yet some of these fairly simple uh, mechanisms can allow them to communicate. We should be realistic about the ability of sanctions to achieve our political and security objectives with Iran. If, however, we accurately target the key vulnerabilities and fissures within Iran, and then act together with a broad coalition of governments and key private sector actors, we can, at the very least, demonstrate to the Iranian government that there are serious costs to any continued refusal to cooperate with the international community. Thank you very much. Senator, Senator Casey. Mr. Chairman, do you think that this raises the possibility that any nuclear weapon that Iran builds could find its way in the hands of terrorists? Uh, Mr. Shelby, I, I think these are all grave concerns. I think that there are so many different reasons why the potential possession of a nuclear weapon from Iran would pose a danger to us and to the region. We have the danger that it would be either deliberately or inadvertently transferred to a terrorist or non-state actor is a very serious concern, that it would be used to threaten its neighbors would be a concern, that it would be used as a, as a cover for it to engage in more aggressive behavior in the, in the region. We can think of so many reasons why this is such a grave danger that that's why we put such a high priority on preventing them getting it. If there are no further questions, thank you very much, gentlemen, for your testimony and your service, and the hearing is adjourned. Yes.